Go ahead. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> okay. Has anybody in here ever had a great idea to help other people out in some great way? I bet everybody in here has had that idea. But why hasn't that idea come to pass? Well, that question can be answered with another question. Where does one start? How does one begin in uh, contributing to society? Well, in order for you see, in order for a journey uh, to achieve uh, a goal of great magnitude to begin, one usually finds the first step to be the hardest. And they find this first step to be the hardest because uh, people are so conscious about how other people perceive them, and also because uh, people in general are just too scared to fail. You see, these two reasons uh, are greatly contribute to one's tentativeness towards achieving their goals. The biggest reason being that people in general are too worried about how their peers perceive them. You see, that idea, uh, say your idea to change society goes against social norms. Well, people tend to uh, shun out people who have different ideas. So. If you have an idea that's different from the way other people think, you're scared to portray it because you don't want to be uh, looked down upon or looked at as uh, different. So you want to be accepted, which is why you don't you know, portray that idea because you're afraid. And not only are people conscious of uh, what other people are thinking of them, but they're also frightened that they will fail. And you see, everyone kind of has a sort of inherent fear of failure. Just like uh, when a teacher uh, asks, uh, a professor will ask his class a question. A few people will answer the question, but those people uh, that answer the question, uh, they know the answer, they know it 100%. But then there's a few people in the class who they're about 95% sure, but they're just, that shade of doubt just stops them from answering. They don't, they're just so scared to feel that they will not answer it. You see this, this fear uh, is the same thing in, you know, taking your first step, it's that fear of not being right, of not uh, being perceived as, uh, let's say, smart. You see, uh, every human being in our uh, society wants to contribute in some way to help out. And the ways that they can do that are uh, by first by getting rid of preconceived notions of how people perceive them and also by uh, Not being afraid of what, uh, not being afraid of failing. So once we get rid of these uh, preconceived notions, then one day we can achieve something of great magnitude.